Hello, welcome back to Adrian's Chemistry Laboratory. Now it's very interesting that my last video caused so much controversy with some flat earthers who refused to believe that I actually was using 100% concentrated sulfuric acid and all I was simply trying to do was demonstrate the extreme dangers of concentrated sulfuric acid and how to safely use it. Unfortunately, their irresponsible uh, attitude uh, in trying to argue that there was nothing wrong with concentrated sulfuric acid when you get it on your skin. Um, for instance, there's one person who likes to add lumps of sodium, very large lumps of sodium, to aquarium tanks in his backyard, and he believes that he's a scientist, but I don't think really he has anything positive to offer the scientific community. There's somebody with a pseudonym of Lord, and then there's somebody who can't really spell the word synthesizer as well, and a couple of other flat earthers that are very, very irresponsible. And I believe it's my job to point out the dangers of chemistry, but also how to safely handle chemical reagents. So I'm just going to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that uh, the dangers of concentrated sulfuric acid whenever it is uh, put onto your skin. And over here in the fume cupboard, my sister just follows me, I have a piece of chicken Nothing special about this chicken whatsoever. I'm just going to put it into this little uh, crystallizing dish. And here I have brand new sulfuric acid, which as you can see, unlike one of these flat earthers believes, looks like corn syrup, which as you can see, it could be easily mistaken for water and not thick corn syrup. And I was trying to point out the dangers that you could easily get uh, sulfuric acid mixed up with water. I was also pointing out how to safely mix it with water, that you add always the acid to water and not the other way about because you get a vigorous exothermic reaction and it would end up boiling and splattering all over your skin. Which is why I'm donning a PVC suit and face mask and heavy rubber gloves to protect myself whilst using concentrated sulfuric acid. So just in a matter of seconds, we're going to see exactly what happens whenever you add concentrated sulfuric acid to something like your skin and how, unlike one of them had suggested, that whenever he spelt concentrated sulfuric acid upon himself, he had lots of time to wipe it off, which is why it's impossible because you don't have time to wipe it off. You must put your hand or your face or whatever you've got it onto into copious amounts of cold running water, which is why I've got large beakers of cold water about and also um, some buckets of water outside. You ready? Concentrated sulfuric acid onto skin. You get a vigorous reaction between the concentrated sulfuric acid and the water in your skin and also the fats, which is why, as you can see, it instantly becomes carbonized. And as you can see, that is in seconds what would happen to you if you spilt concentrated sulfuric acid upon your skin. And that's why these uh, flat earthers and very irresponsible people who are commenting on my uh, channel at the minute really should go and read a chemistry book and go and uh, have some respect for chemistry. So thank you very much uh, for watching that demonstration. It just shows you how dangerous concentrated sulfuric acid is and should be, unlike these flat earthers, treated with great respect. Please like and subscribe.